Hi everyone, Peter from White Driver Productions here. Welcome back to the channel. And today I have a very simple breakdown of a editorial shoot that I recently did. And actually this is the kind of shot that we're going to make today. So here we are in the studio. And I quickly want to walk you through what I am using to create these images. For the first set of images, I used um, one of three Lasto pop-up backdrops that we're going to be using today on this shoot. And I lit the whole scene with two Profoto A2s. And of course, I had this amazing model Instagram in the description down below. And actually, this is my favorite setup because it's so incredibly simple and versatile and honestly, that easy to set up. In total, from nothing to uh, completely set up, it takes no more than 50 minutes. So I was wondering if you want, uh, if you'd like me to do a full breakdown of this setup, let me know in the comment section down below and maybe we can do that in the future. On the technical side of things, I used my uh, Hasselblad X2D 100C with the 90mm XCD lens. And for studio work, I always tether directly into focus. Again, to keep things simple, I create my look when shooting. And then I, when I change the lighting, I, of course, readjust my look to match the current light setup. I really like black and white, so I set it up for that. And then I shoot everything directly black and white instead of converting it afterwards and the model and I uh, really wanted to work on some strong portraits that really have this epic next level beautiful expression we set a second goal because besides portraits the goal for this shoot is also to try and create a series that we can then later publish in a magazine. I love shooting editorial style, so when a model is open to that idea, I am always very happy. We didn't have a particular story in mind for this shoot, but it's always a fun exercise to plan a series in your head and work out on set when shooting uh, to get that series of interesting pictures that could create the feeling of that editorial sequence. I switched out my 90mm for the new 28p XCD lens uh, to shoot some low angles, cool dance-like poses. I always jo enjoy shooting these a lot. They're a bit more challenging for me as a photographer, but I really like to just have that epic expression, that feeling, they're, they're very strong. And when you get them right, and that is a big if of course, but when you get them right, they are just the most amazing picture to take. You know, if you imagine having something on your wall, it's these kind of pictures that I would totally hang on my wall. For the editorial uh, portion, I switched my A1, A2 for a B10X, so I could um, put the light a bit further back, giving the model, of course, a bit more room to improvise and uh, have a bit more freedom when moving, having these epic poses. <laughs> um, and I used my second A2 in this shot uh, for, with the Magnum uh, reflector, so I could create a more pronounced backlight. Um, because I just love those. It's maybe from my film background, but I really like creating these epic pronounced uh, backlights. We did the shoot in no more than three hours, um, which actually impressed me <laughs> because it showed me personally that when you have a plan and you have a great team, you can create a lot of different images and a lot of light setups without even going crazy fast. We did video, we did photo, we, you know, we shot it back to back and still three hours. That's not a bad time. And doing a test shoot like this really um, allows me to take my time and really work towards something. 
but it's also interesting to see the balance between working fast and effective and really taking your time to get that one amazing epic epic picture <laughs> i did shoot for the first time with and from radical models so it is really um important to me that i get that connection uh, with her so that she knows how i work i know how she works that we trust each other that we can communicate the right way because having that communication and having this 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 trust really helps me and helps her um getting most out of these shots and really give that emotion you know emotion you can see through the eyes especially with portraits so for me working on that uh, has been a pleasure and did an amazing job and if you ever uh, need to hire models here in the netherlands radical models really does have some great models to work with I'm really happy with the results of this test shoot and I hope that it shows. <laughs> a good team and good vibes on set make uh, this process, the process in general, so much more fun. Now I was wondering, I really want to do a bit more in-depth lighting breakdown maybe in the future. Um, so be because I really enjoyed those from other photographers and people that make them for their channels, um, it is a nice way to understand lighting, um, I think. So, if you want to see that for, uh, on this channel, let me know. Um, maybe we can dive into it. Would be nice to experiment, experiment with the process. <laughs> and I guess I see you in the next video. Later.